Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you find the videos useful. So let's see a Pearson's coefficient. This is the problem sum from 2014. Uh, you can see the set of elements. Now first step is there is no ranking for Pearson's coefficient. We have to only find sigma x, sigma y and n and then calculate further. Let's see how. So we write down uh, data for x and data for y. Looking at this, I'm writing the data. Similarly, write for y. So now I have written both elements. I am finding the summation of x and summation of y. So total them. So you can see the total is already given here 450 and 450. Now let us find out the x bar. Okay, this is the step to find small x using the x minus x bar formula. So what is your x bar? x bar is summation of x upon the uh, divided by the number of elements. So summation of x is what? It's 450 by how many number of elements? There are, there are 10 elements. So it is 10. So it is 45. Your x bar is 45. And similarly y bar is also the same. 450 by 10 is 45. So you have got the x bar and y bar value. What do we do with this? Here we find out x that is the small x where x is to be subtracted by uh, the 45. x minus the 45. So each 30 minus 45 that will give you minus 15, 35 minus 45 will give you minus 10, 35 minus 45 will give you uh, again minus 10 that way. You have to go on 40 minus 45 gives you minus 5, go on subtracting. Similarly, we find out small x which is equal to the capital Y minus the y bar which we just got the value over here this is the y bar so again each value of y minus 45 so we have found out both <coughs> small x and small y values uh, by subtracting each element by the x bar and y bar simultaneously now if you see the pdf i have written here find x square now after finding x we have to find that x square then y square and x into y let's do that so this is x square this is then y square and x into y so let's find out each value so i have found out all the values x square is this uh, into the self y square and x into y now we will find summation of x square, summation of y square and summation of x and y. So just total it this. So I have totaled it up. You can see all the values here. Now just directly apply the formula. The r that is the Pearson's coefficient is this formula. So uh, summation of x, y is 1175 divided by square root of the summation of x square that is 1000 into this one. So the uh, when we find the square root of this we get the value 1322.87 and then we divide we get 0 0.888 this is your Pearson's coefficient